friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode we are going to discuss one more case study based question from the topic coordinate geometry of class 9 this is the fourth episode and previously i have uploaded the three episodes on the case study based questions the links of all these case study based questions are given in the description box you can go to the description box and click the link and watch all the videos now here before starting the topic i request you to join our telegram channel where i regularly put the uh, quizzes i means the mcq type questions on maths and science so that will be beneficial to you if you solve all these quizzes and the mcq for the first term and these case study questions are also the for first term and now we will move to the question the question is students of class 9 are going to visit the parliament teacher assign them the activity to observe and take some pictures to analyze the seating arrangement between various mp and speaker based on the coordinate geometry the staff tour guide explained the students various mathematical facts related to parliament students surprised when the teacher asked them you need to apply coordinate geometry on the seating arrangement of mp's and speaker here friends the students of class 9 visited the parliament and the teacher assigned them a duty in the activity in the activity that the observer and take some pictures to analyze the seating arrangement of the mp's and the speaker on the coordinate geometry and with the help of this information you have to answer the following questions so here is the first question on the screen that what are the coordinates of position u there is one mp who is sitting at position u someone is sitting at position w someone is sitting at position s someone is sitting at position p and so on so here we have to find the coordinates of the position u so here the coordinates of position u you can find easily that is x and y coordinate x coordinate that is the distance from the y axis x coordinate is what that is the distance from the y axis so distance from the y axis is what minus 4 so here distance is 4 but we take it the coordinate as minus 4 so the x coordinate will be minus 4 and the y coordinate is what it is a distance from x axis so distance from x axis is what it is 3 units and so the y coordinate will be 3 so the distance from x axis that is the y coordinate that is 3 and the distance from y axis that is the uh, x coordinate and so that distance is minus 4 so here the x coordinate is minus 4 and y coordinate is 3 and therefore the option d is the correct option that is into bracket minus 4 comma 3 close the bracket now the next question is that what are the coordinates of position s we have to write the coordinates of the position s so here is the position s we have to write the x coordinate and the y coordinate so here s and s here we draw lines like this and then to write the x coordinate x coordinate means what the distance from the y axis so the distance from y axis this distance is what minus 3 that is this coordinate is minus 3 distance is 3 units but the coordinate is what it is minus 3 so x coordinate will be minus 3 
then y coordinate is what it is a distance from the x axis so distance from the x axis this distance means this distance is what it is minus 2 so minus 2 and therefore the coordinates of the position s is what minus 3 and minus 2 and therefore the b option is the correct option that is into bracket minus 3 comma minus 2 close the bracket are the coordinates of the position x now let us move to the next question now the next question is that what are the coordinates of v position what are the coordinates of the v position this is the v correct this is the v point this is the v position so we will draw a perpendicular from this v point on x axis and that is also on the y axis so this is the perpendicular drawn from v on the y axis and perpendicular drawn from uh, this point v on the x axis and now we have to write the x coordinate and the y coordinate so here x coordinate I am repeatedly saying that what is x coordinate and what is y coordinate. So here x coordinate means what the distance from the y axis. So v this is the distance from the y axis it means this distance is what 8 and so the x coordinate is 8. Now the y coordinate means what it is the distance from x axis so this is the distance from x axis of this position v and this distance is nothing but this distance so it is 4 and so the 8 comma 4 so x coordinate is 8 and y coordinate is 4 and so here the option b is the correct option that is into bracket 8 comma 4 close the bracket is are the coordinates of the position v now move to the next question now here in which quadrant the point r lies in which quadrant the point r lies first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant or fourth quadrant this is the point r or the position r so here this we call as the first quadrant this we call as the second quadrant this quadrant we call as the third quadrant and this quadrant we call as the fourth quadrant and therefore we can say that the position r or the point r that lies in the fourth quadrant and therefore the d option is the correct option that is it lies in the fourth quadrant now move to the next question now here is the next question now here is the fourth uh, last question on the screen that find the perpendicular distance of the point w from y axis find the perpendicular distance from the point of the point w from the y axis so here this is the point w here this is the point w and we have to find the distance from the y axis perpendicular distance so we will draw a perpendicular line from point w on the y axis this is the perpendicular distance of this w point from the y axis and what is this distance here we will see that it is minus 3 but when we write the distance we will not consider the negative sign remember if we have to write the coordinate that is coordinate of uh, uh, this point that is the distance from y axis that is the x coordinate so it will be minus 3 we will when we write the coordinate we will write minus 3 but when we have to write the distance we will not consider this negative sign remember so we will write the distance as 3 units okay the distance we will write as 3 units and therefore here the D option is the correct option suppose you have to find the distance of this U point suppose you have to find the distance of this u point perpendicular distance from the y axis so you will draw a perpendicular line from point u to this and you will see that this distance is what even though it is minus 4 we will not write it minus 4 we will write it as 4 units okay we will write this as 4 units but if you have to write the x coordinate then we will write it as minus 4 remember this and uh, uh, so you can write the uh, 
uh, distance of point R from X axis as well as from Y axis but this distance whenever you will write it will be always positive you will not consider the negative sign so here friends I hope you must have enjoyed this video if yes please like the video share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel thank you very much for watching this video